YouTube, how the heck are you doing today? We are halfway through the challenge for NaNoWriMo, day 16. Um, I, had a I hit a few roadblocks, uh, it wasn't too bad, but uh, I was able to pull through those. Uh, came short up on one day target of words, and uh, but I'm able to pull ahead and keep on track with what I'm doing, so hopefully you guys are doing that too. Let me know in the comments uh, how you're doing along on your NaNoWriMo challenge and if uh, you think you're going to reach your goals and what your goals are actually if uh, mine is 60,000 words by the end of the month hopefully I will reach that. I think I will but uh, like I said we're only halfway through and I'm hitting a little more roadblocks than usual so I'm going to see how that goes but uh, I'll show you a little quick thing in Scrivener today that has helped me uh, get beyond some of my roadblocks or once in a while when I hit a roadblock this does help me get past that so I will show you that in a few minutes but hang around and we'll see what uh, we can do hey guys welcome back into Scrivener once again it is uh, day 16 so uh, obviously I, I didn't have a video out for you yesterday on NaNoWriMo but I did put one out for a box opening of a device called Remarkable that may come in handy for your writing uh, workflow and everything. Uh, I'll be reviewing that probably in the next week or so. But if you want to go out, if you want to go ahead and check out the unboxing, I'll leave that link right below here. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and dive into Scrivener here and uh, take a look at my targets before I forget that because I've done that a few times already. And you can see I'm at uh, 33,189, so I'm uh, on track still. It's over the 32,000 because I have this uh, extra document here and a few other ones that I use to show you guys uh, some tips and tricks and stuff. So I'm at, still at my goal, but uh, it's showing that I'm over it, but uh, not quite there over it as far as what it's showing. I, I have some extraneous words and stuff in there, so... Let's go ahead and close the target. And uh, just one thing I was going to show you in when you're organizing your scenes and stuff. I showed you the closing of, you know, the side panels here. And if you hold down the Alt or Option key, you can close them all down at once. As you can see now, they're just showing the chapters there. But if I hold the Alt Option key down and hit that again, it opens it all up to show the scenes and everything. But let's go down here to... Uh, chapter 6 scene 5 that's one that I was playing around with and say I want to move it on up between scene 1 and 2 well sometimes if you're not careful how you drop it you can actually drop it inside a scene so now I got scene 1 scene 2 and then I have a drop down right here inside scene 2 of scene 5 and that can happen every once in a while when you're just moving things around and trying to get them in sequence but uh, another option you can do as far as that is also hold the alt option key down as you select it and as you see it doesn't allow you to drop it within other scenes and stuff so if you wanted to drop it right there after scene one it just goes there hold the alt option key down again you can see it doesn't try to move into anything else but what you're pointing that and it puts it right where you would need to put it although it looks kind of funny right now let's see what we did here alright there we go I don't know why I did that little bump out there but it's back in order so let me go ahead and close the, the manuscript out and I mentioned that I like to break out of my writer's block by doing a little exercise and that would be going into my characters and kind of fleshing them out a little bit more. My previous one didn't have a uh, Dylan Moore. That's just a made-up character. But he didn't have a picture that uh, gave me an obvious look of what I want my character to be like. My physical description is tall and dark. So what I do, I went out onto Safari here, did tall, dark, and handsome, selected images, and I went into the tools area. This is on Safari. And I was able to select if I wanted any color color or black and white. So I went ahead and selected black and white. And this was the results that I got for that. So I just did a drag and drop of this guy here. If you hold on to him, you can see he's floating around. 
and I can shoot over to Scrivener there and just drop them right in there. So that was done that way. You can do it other ways. You can save it to your desktop and then drag and drop. But that is one thing I like to do when I'm hitting a little writer's block. And I just want to get past the little writing session I'm doing. I'll just jump into my characters here, kind of flesh out their descriptions and maybe throw a picture and stuff in there. And a lot of times that helps to get an idea of where you want to go with that character if it's part of that scene you're working on or even a scene that you still have in your mind that you haven't written yet maybe that will get you going get you kick started to writing that scene leave the scene that you're stuck on at the moment where it is and go ahead and move on to that other scene and see how that uh, flushes out for you so that's it for today guys I hope you're having a good time writing and I will see you the next time, most likely tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.